Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Praveen here. I hope you all are doing extremely good. So in this video, we will be talking about, especially on Paytm, how was my interview experience with Paytm, how I have applied to Paytm and got an opportunity and what are the interview questions asked to me. I have detailedly documented with me, right? And I'll be sharing this document onto this video. Right. So don't worry, like how you can crack the DevOps interviews and all those things, because this is Praveen here to help you all. So with that said, let's start with our today's video. So in this video, we will be first talking about a little bit about Paytm, right? What is Paytm and how it has established its footprint. And then we'll be detailedly going to one by one, step by step in rest of the things, right? So I'll just go to the next slide. These slides I have prepared guys. So this only I'll be sharing you in this video as a document, right? So Paytm is India's leading financial service platform guys. So you would have used Paytm as well as Paytm mall and wherever you go right by holding the phone, you have the scanner everywhere, right? And a beautiful device also they have invented where it will tell you whenever you do the merchant pay device will tell the amount that the user has spent to the merchant, right? It's beautifully designed and Paytm has established its footprint worldwide. So now going ahead into the video, we'll be discussing about what it is doing actually, how the offer letter will be looking. So 197 Communications Limited has actually owned the Paytm. It is the main head of the Paytm, right? So in the offer letter, you will get from 197 Communications Limited. So when I have received the offer letter, I got a little bit of disappointment because that offer letter, I thought, okay, from some other brand I was getting, right? Some other organization I got. But when I carefully observed, I, I came to know like 197 Communications Limited is owning the platform. So if you are receiving the offer from Paytm, just get happy because you are receiving from the renowned institution or organization. So nevertheless, you also have heard recently Paytm has uh, established their IPO right initial public offerings or you can say like stocks where we buy some shares of the company and as company grows right we get the offerings from them very very interesting and slowly i hope paytm gets established all over the other platforms also like pharma and all those things right so let's start with our main session like our agenda right our agenda is to discuss how when where and what are the questions? So Paytm, how I have applied, I have applied through LinkedIn. I love LinkedIn a lot because you get so many opportunities. I will be doing one specific video to you all in order to show you how this LinkedIn works and also how you can get 100 by 100 marks if you are active on the LinkedIn, right? So make sure you are uh, active member on LinkedIn. So I have applied to this position in LinkedIn and LinkedIn has a special feature which is easy apply. So I have applied through that option of easy apply guys. Okay. So, so explore uh, the LinkedIn, what I would say, connect with the people and build your confidence. So going ahead to the second point, position selected, I was selected for senior DevOps engineer. So senior DevOps engineer means as the name or the title tells seniority. So you are given with hard questions, guys. So I'll be discussing all those things. So stay tuned, watch the video till the end. And in the comment section, tell me what you feel regarding the Paytm as well as if you are preparing any interview questions, you can reach out to any for any interview. You can reach out to me on LinkedIn. My LinkedIn profile is flashing on the YouTube channel as well as on the description below. And I have the habit of replying to every DM guys. So yeah, so my smile is telling how I put efforts of replying to each one of DMs. So I trust if you have any uh, any issues with your clearing of the interview and some other things, just reach out to me. So now going into the third point, screening exam. Yes, Paytm gives the screening exam guys and it is very, very on the practical side. So if you are a practical DevOps engineer, then it's good you attend the round and clear this exam. But if you are someone who has a little bit of practical knowledge, then definitely you need to work hard to clear that exam. So what that exam contains mostly on the CI CD part on the Kubernetes, Ansible, Linux, and it is MCQ guys. So I still remember 
it took me almost one hour to clear the exam and it was really really tough because you need to calculate some of the things they will give you a manifest file and you need to find the error or they will give you some ci cd pipeline or the groovy script or let's say some of the shell scripting or python scripting and they will ask you the output of that so make sure you all know uh, before applying to the paytm you just prepare yourself some of the basic points of this tool so number of rounds there were two rounds because technical screening was really tough so there were two rounds and uh, trust me guys round number one was really tough i couldn't answer most of the questions but you know what in every interview i give them the confidence like the way i am talking and the way i am sharing the knowledge with you all similar way i always show my confidence and the knowledge to my people who are with me so nevertheless never the more we will be continuing to do and i will also teach you like how to talk confidently so definitely check out the things you have to be bold you have to be strong you have to be showing the right nature in the interview yeah with that we will go uh, to the point number four as i've told you two technical rounds point number five each round duration is 90 minutes guys so 90 minutes is one and a half hour or one hour 15 minutes because i told you every organization wants the fit candidate for their role even the manager checks whether the candidate is fit for their team or not because if the team is good then the manager position is always safe if you really feel so comment down that yes team is strong manager position is strong manager is strong and team is strong vice versa right so round number one aws application design in your current organization everyone will ask because i was a aws devops guy so most of the questions were revolving on my resume i'll be sharing that resume with you all in another video like how i have prepared and all those things but for now aws application design in your current organization so you need to confidently tell what was your application design in aws if you are giving aws or if you are giving azure tell that if you are giving gcp tell that aws ec2 type of volumes different between alb and nlb so these are very important things ec2 types and uh, volumes uh, these are readily available in the document different between application load balancer and network load balancer very very important guys wherever you go this question is asked so just i will give you a brief but yeah definitely you need to check and work hard from your end so application load balancer is something which helps you to route the traffic to the specific location right they will ask you the questions like what is the use of application load balancer how, where you have used and uh, what how many certificates you have used with the application load balancer so just imagine the www.amazon.com the interview experience i have already shared link in the description below go check out that video so let's understand www.amazon.com is the url so ever imagine like how these urls are formed these are formed with the help of certificates guys okay so certificates helps us to secure our application at the same time they will not expose the ip addresses so ip to the url or the ip to the name mapping is called the certs will help in that case so now you have to tell where you have used alb what you have used where you have used nlb if you have used alb you have to tell regarding the certificates regarding the uh, target groups regarding the creation of the application load balancer regarding the what type of load balancer you have used everything you have to tell why your application choose the about load balancer as i have told you you need to tell the answer how the cores present in s3 guys cores is very important topic again aws is all about security so you need to understand what is cores cores is actually uh, the cross origin resource sharing so let's take this is a url www.helloworld.com and this helloworld.com is trying to access one more application www.helloworld2.com so now how this application will talk to this we will see okay so now just understand this application is calling this application right and to make this second application helloworld2.com a much more secure one on top of this now we will place the cores okay what this course will do now it has a particular string matching parameter which will say okay only allow okay this layer right oh, this layer will tell only allow the url if the name is www.helloworld.com so that is the power of the course right so you need to understand what is course where it is used how it is used how your system becomes more application security compliant you need to check s3 types standard ia standard bucket glacier difference between s3 buckets difference between route what is route 53 very important concepts you need to understand how you have mapped your amazon certificate manager into the route 53 and uh, amazon certificate manager as i have told you very important concepts you can procure your certificates 
if i am talking something not understanding na just comment in the comment section and i will be bringing a class for this so i have taken this class i think i will show you the date on linkedin i usually take the master classes on linkedin so i will be bringing each topic a class i have ordered the blackboard also i mean whiteboard with marker and all those things i love teaching so that is why i will bring okay now coming on to the kubernetes uh, the pods management right and memory and ram utilization check so in every place na you need to make sure your cpu and memory are playing an important role so coming on to the pods managing management you need to understand how the scaling you have implemented in kubernetes what are the additional things you have put in order to make sure your pods are healthy and up and running the health checks the liveness and readiness probes the monitoring very very important and i am going to take a special session on monitoring so types of kubernetes services very important there are four types of kubernetes services load balancer ingress cluster ip and node pod you need to understand what are this and you need to tell them if they ask you the question kubernetes commands yes very very important how you are working on the cli kubectl get pods right you will give for getting the pods hyphen n n is for namespace namespace is nothing but a bridge space where your application services are deployed let's take five applications your manager is handling your team is handling so this five applications will be hosted or placed under a virtual place which is called a namespace okay so now linux commands very important i will not go into depth but i have given just a line as linux commands how the node port and cluster ip are managed very very important question so first you need to understand what is a node port what is a cluster ip and then you need to understand how the management is done so now persistent volumes in kubernetes and manifest file creation yeah as i have told you i have ordered a whiteboard so here i will keep the whiteboard and i'll be explaining so just wait for few more days it is on its way from amazon right so now uh, persistent volumes in kubernetes very important topic and uh, by the way the volumes are designed na these volumes help us to store the data and you know what pod na pod is a uh, pod can be uh, deleted or destroyed any time guys so just imagine you have your important application data in the pod and this pod na is getting deleted right so this data is also lost right so in order to make sure this data is present with you you have your persistent volume so what we do na i will tell you layer wise okay layer 1 is your pod okay layer 2 which is your persistent volume under that your data will be saved so even though the layer 1 is destroyed this persistent volume will save your data and this persistent volumes are very very much important so you need to understand how to create the persistent volumes in kubernetes and how to work with that docker and its layers as we are talking about kubernetes it's very important that you guys know what is docker how what are the its layers and all those things and if you are watching this video still then like it i hope you liked it that's why you are staying with me till now comment it if you found it useful and i will be bringing the best interview series of my 25 plus product based organizations this will this is my second product based organization interview and share it with your friends and tell them like pravin is there to help you all so now round to design guys so basically when devops engineer means the design will uh, design will be coming into picture because they will be testing how this guy is good in designing the things and also coding will also be there so as i have told you in screen one round the coding also completed because the mcqs right they are a little bit tricky they are mostly on the python and shell scripting so you need to make sure you know both of them so integrate design of jenkins round 2 integration with each tools how this jenkins has been integrated let's consider jenkins as your master brain how this this jenkins is connected with the uh, sonar the build tools the ansible and other tools within your organization how the deployment is done in cloud via ansible very very important not only ansible other uh, deployment tools you can take it ansible ssh keys and the architecture diagram yes very very much important so this round was usual uh, is taken by the director of paytm i still remember he has asked me good number of questions guys and uh, don't worry i know like most of the questions are really really tough and also they will be uh, asking you to share the screen and they will be asking you to write on the screen so make sure you show them the confidence the same way how we are talking right we both are talking at this point of time so ansible roles and playbook design yeah what are the roles you have used in your organization why ansible roles are used the playbook design how you have play designed the playbook what are the stages you have written and one more important question every time they will ask you being a devops engineer what kind of automations you have done so be ready with that questions right 
But yeah, just understand CloudFront is important and why that CloudFront is used in order to make sure the response time to the users are given less. CloudFront is something like caching, right? Your application is there and this CloudFront is there and I am the user. Now, if I hit www.helloworld.com, now what happens is first of all, it will hit the CloudFront or anyways, in front there will be so many things in order to make you understand. If you hit www.helloworld.com, first of all, it will hit this CloudFront. This CloudFront will check whether the requested user data is present in this cache or not. If it is not present, it will go to the next layer. If it is present, it will give you from here. So what happens is the travel distance between here to here is reduced because the data is already present in the CloudFront and it will be given to the user. So now uh, CloudFront and the use we have already discussed so very much important CloudFront and uh, how to debug a REST API hit. If you are getting a 404, if you are getting a 503, very, very much important how you have to debug. www.helloworld.com, if a user is hitting and he is getting a 504 error or uh, sorry, 503 error or 404 error, what steps you will take it? End to end, you need to explain them, right? Okay, myself is the user and I am hitting www.helloworld.com on the browser. Now what happens is when I hit enter, the backend will be there, the front end will be there, the app server will be there, the web server will be there. These all things I will be bringing in a video. Don't worry, only concentrate on the questions, whatever I am telling and prepare these only. And also as the interview series progress, uh, because you will be having a dump of questions with you, with the confidence that I am sharing to you all. So make sure you practice well, you do the hard work and be with me guys, because I have started the channel newly. So I'll be with you, you be with me. So now Tomcat and Apache design, yeah, this is what I was talking about. Apache is the web server, na? because server comes first, when the user hits web server come first and the app server comes next, right? App, app is nothing but your application is residing. Web is nothing but web, which is directly talking with the browsers and all those things. In fact, so many things will be there, but in a simple terminology, web and app server are this. Web server, which is directly talking with the Google and all those things. App is nothing but which will host your application. This is your application and this is your, uh, what we call the app server. So now with that said, we are completing our Paytm experience. But yeah, what I will tell from my uh, experience or my understanding of attending the interview and clearing it, right? It is a little bit tough, but don't worry. With the preparation, with the content, what I am sharing, with the knowledge, whatever I have and you also have, we both together sit and we both together talk. If you want to connect with me, connect with me on LinkedIn and we will discuss there. And I will help you. I will hold your hand till you get the job. So I have that confidence. So be with me. Next interview experience I'll be bringing soon. And stay tuned guys. Subscribe to the channel. Ganti baja dena button jo bhi dikh raha hai aapko. Like karna, comment karna, share karna aapke doston ke saath. What companies you are feeling that I should bring in or what data you need from my end by seeing my skills, by seeing my confidence, by seeing that Praveen can help, you can ask me anything. So with that said, today's video I will end here and I will meet you in the next video. Subscribe, like and share. Take care. Bye friends.